what's up? I wanted to make a shorter part two to my integration video. This is probably going to have many more parts because it's a really important topic. And it's not just integrating plant medicine ceremonies, it's integrating deep experiences, it's integrating our life from when we were a baby until where we are now. Um, integration, integration, whatever it is that you need to integrate. And when you hear that word, I'm curious if something comes to mind for you, because it's going to be different for everyone. Like, what is it that you particularly know deep down that you need to be integrating right now? Um, I'll just share sort of an experience that I've had in my life, which is that for many years, many years <laughs> of traveling and moving and having so many experiences, so many experiences, um, I always felt like, when is life going to slow down? Like, I need some time and space to just process all of this. Like, and I didn't know exactly what that meant. I always felt in some way that that was going to be through writing, um, writing my story, writing a book, which... It's sort of in process now, but um, yeah, I just had this sense that I wanted life to slow down. Like I need months of nothing to just process, you know, the the years of, of Thailand and India and Bali and Peru and medicine work and relationships and ch transitions and all these different things. And um, when I started working with plant medicine, I also sort of felt that like, okay, I need days or weeks or months after these experiences to, to process, you know, but I wasn't quite sure exactly what that, what that looked like. And, um, cause it's, you know, at the end of the day, you're like, okay, am I just gonna like sit in my house and just be with it all journal and life goes on. Life moves on. This is the point. There's not really a space that just happens where you get to do nothing. Sometimes that happens. You can carve that out for yourself. You can create that, create a personal retreat. And I've had several of these. And the funny thing is, I actually feel like the integration happened more just in life than it did in those spaces that I carved out a week of nothingness or a week of, you know, it wasn't nothingness, but of a lot less things. And so my point is, I think integration, it happens in several ways. One is with creating structure in your day which in which to connect to yourself. So having a morning routine, practicing meditation, movement, journaling, writing, 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 getting to know yourself more. Um, this is what works for me. I can't project that it's going to work for everyone. I am a writer, so that does feel like a really powerful way to connect with my experience and integrate it. Um, but whatever your morning routine looks like, that's part of it. The other one is just trusting as well, like trusting that the lessons and the shifts are going to weave into your life and just having this mindset of integration, right? Moving through your life, staying connected. So I'm like putting a pin in, okay, the experiences, the insights, whatever you've had, or like the life stuff, you know? It's, I feel like I'm kind of vague with all of this, but... um. Big, I think part of integration is is trusting that you are integrating, and it's about being really present, right? So I think with integration, sometimes we can think, oh, we can get caught in time a little bit, like, oh, these are the insights I had then in the past, and I'm supposed to integrate it into my future. It's it's actually just here now. So the more that you can come into your present day self, body, breath, mind together. Um, that's integration, right? Like if we actually think what is integration, it's disparate parts coming together and you living in a way that's weaving in everything that you've learned, every way that you've changed and you're continuing to change, right? So if we look at a, a plant, it's always changing and evolving, right? If you look at a flower or a tree, it's like it's never the same. It's never going to be the same as it was. That's the same with us. We don't go backwards. We're, we're constantly changing and we're not staying the same. So you are always integrating your experiences of life. Um, but when you have particularly transformational experiences, this is where it's like you can put a little bit more intention into the daily practice, into the specific shifts that you want to make. For example, if you've had insights around um, new ways of thinking or new belief systems or you had realizations around blockages that you've had. It's like, 
write about that. Practice that in your day to day. See if you can put yourself in situations that will trigger that to come up and see if you can respond in a different way. Or notice when you're put in that situation that in the past you might have responded a certain way and you can check yourself and say, okay, I recognize this. I learned about this. I saw where I haven't been showing up. Okay, I'll give you an example. For me, one of them has been um, something that I've been integrating is using my voice more. I've recently learned how powerful the voice and our energy coming out through this throat chakra is. And so I could have just sat on that like a thought, like, oh, that's cool, but I'm not going to do anything about it. Or I can practice, I'm practicing singing and I'm practicing speaking to my computer and posting it on the internet. <laughs> That's not the only reason why I'm doing it. It's just, but but this is also a good example because I'll tell you, I'm practicing these things intentionally and since I had this insight drop in, it's just coming through more naturally. I'm naturally just like, hmm, I'm having, a <laughs> I would like to record a video. It's just becoming like this more natural impulse. I haven't done this in years and I had a lot of judgment around it and I was like, fuck all that coaching shit this is ridiculous something new is being born it's not about coaching it's not about any of that it's just about wanting to share thoughts and wanting to build a community around people um interested in in really living in an in a different way in a new way like an awakened way you know and and let's support each other in this so what that that's sort of how the integration has looked like for me. It's this two parts of like first intentionally, I want to practice singing. I want to practice toning with my voice. I want to practice speaking more. And then also like, I just sort of naturally started bringing my guitar up here. And, and every morning, first thing is just singing a little bit. It's new. It's really new. So that's just what I want to offer. It's like, can you let the integration process happen naturally while you also guide it gently um, into place and trust the unfolding that what you need, what needs to stick is going to stick with you um, as long as you hold that intention for, yeah, where you want your life to be evolving into, going into. So yeah, I'm sure there will be many more parts to this as I continue exploring. So, ciao!